If this happened to you or I, we'd be facing prison time. Prison time. You remember, uh, what was that woman's name? The woman that got dragged, uh, uh, Martha Stewart. You remember Martha Stewart? She got dragged up the stairs by Comey for for one uh, one count of insider trading where she got a little information on a trade and uh, it caused her to make a little profit on a stock and she sold it and she spent I don't know how many months in jail. You remember that day? Remember that day? Well, here's, here's how the, the times have changed, right? So Merrill Lynch, right? Merrill Lynch slash B of A, Bank of America, wholly owned, wholly owned uh, by Bank of America, was caught criminally manipulating precious metal market, precious metals market, thousands of times over six years. <laughs> I've, been say, I've been saying it all along. I, I keep saying I've been saying it all along. I, I do. I say these things all the time that the markets are rigged, right? That these traders have have full uh, run in the mill. So, what is a precious metal? Precious metal is is gold, is silver, is uh, is uh, all these these um, uh, precious metals used in um, software stuff, right? And cell phones, right? And um, so, let's just read a little. Read the story. No consequence. No consequence. Criminally manipulating precious metals markets. No consequence. Over six years. You know how many billions of dollars they made manipulating these markets? Billions of dollars stealing, driving prices up and down to, for their own gain. Stealing, siphoning tr- billions of dollars out of the market. No consequence. Or maybe a little consequence. $24 million they paid. Right? They, stel- they steal billions they pay $24 million. Remember when it was pure tinfoil hat conspiracy theory to uh, accuse one or more banks of aggressively, compulsively, and systematically manipulating the precious metal markets, gold and silver markets? Uh, we do. Uh, after all, we made the claim over and over. <laughs> so have I. While demonstrating clearly just how, how said manipulation was taking place. Right. So here's the allegation. On Tuesday, after the close, the CFTC announced that Merrill Lynch Commodities, MLCI, a global commodities trading business, agreed to pay $25 million to resolve the government's investigation into a multi-year scheme by MLCI precious metals traders to mislead the market for precious metals future contracts traded on the COMEX, the Commodities Exchange, right here in New York. uh, I'm sorry, in Chicago, wherever the fuck it is. The, the the assistant director of uh, director in char in charge William Sweeney Jr. of the FBI's New York field office. <laughs> uh, in other in other words, if Merrill Lynch Commodities Group was an individual, he would have gotten ye old prep walk. I don't know what that means. As but uh, here we go. So as MLCI itself admitted, beginning in 2008 and continuing to through through 2014. Precious metal traders employed by MLCI schemed to deceive other market participants by injecting materially false and misleading information into the precious metals futures market. They did so in the now traditional market manipulation way by placing fraudulent orders for precious metal future contracts that at the time the traders placed the orders, they intended to cancel before execution. It's called painting the tape, right? That's what it is. You're, or you're, you're buying and you pull your trade away or you sell to the guy next to you because you have such tremendous amount of buying power. I buy from you. We're on the same team, right? We're playing, we're, we're sitting in the same dugout and I buy from you and drive the price up and then you buy it from me and drive it up a little more or vice versa, you drive it down. There's a million ways to manipulate the market, all of which are illegal, right? So, um... In doing so, the traders intended to spoof or manipulate the market by creating the false impression of increased supply or demand, and in turn, to fraudulently fraudulently induce other market participants to buy and to sell future contracts at quantities, prices, and times that they, they otherwise likely would not have done so. Over the relevant period, the traders placed thousands of fraudulent orders. That's, that's, I mean, thousands of, fro- thousands of felonies, right? Thousands of times over what Mar- Martha Stewart did once, and people like Martha Stewart did once, right? 
Of course, since we are talking about a bank, and since banks are in charge of not only the DOJ and virtually every other branch of government, not to mention the Fed, nobody will go to jail and MLCI entered into a non-prosecution agreement. A non-prosecution agreement. No, no, no. Well, uh, what the f- what the hell is that? A non-prosecution agreement, an agreement to not prosecute me for 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 six thousand felonies, uh, and agreed to pay a, co- a combined and measly twenty five million dollars in criminal fines. Who pays twenty five million dollars in criminal fines? It's not even a, a, a it's not even a term. A fine is a civil fine. It's not a criminal fine. How ridiculous, right? And, and forfeiture of trading profits. Restitution and forfeit of trading profits. Yeah, right. What? How are you going to track six years of trading profits? Bullshit. Bullshit they're going to pay trading profits. So you, you can read more about that. This, this kind of shit gets under my skin, right? So you got to break up the banks, right? Instead of putting, you know, putting the banks together and elevating them, you got to, you got to, but what do we have? Instead, what, what do we have? We have our politicians are supposed to do this shit, right? They're supposed to like, write the laws. Look at this shit. I found this. Um, Nancy Pelosi actually did something very, very uh, good. She, was, she, she actually stepped out. She started to talk about, uh, about regulation on Wall Street, and, and, but this is what happened. You know? We had a little, a long, took a little longer on the floor, the custody, custody of the border, the border. Everyone has started making, sending signals in the U.S., Mexico, Canada. If that's not the accurate character, some people call it AFTA NAFTA, some call it NAFTA 2.0, working together <laughs> to, to uh, make pa- pass that. Not to, uh, if we, we're, we're the fa- we, there are three things. There are three things. There are three things. There are three things. We're very busy people. See, it was, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we had, we have politicians, see? But Nancy's like, she got a little sidetracked there, right? It's fucking, it's, it's so sad. It's so sad what's happening in our country that we have, we have Congress and Senate are, 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 Congress is supposed to make the laws that regulate people like this. But instead, they could steal billions of dollars and pay a couple of dollars, right? Pay, pay $25 million. That they'll pay over 10 years. They won't feel it. Nobody goes to jail. And everything stays exactly as it's supposed to stay. They will continue to manipulate the markets. They will continue to run the board. They will continue to fool investors. Right? It's real crimes, you know what I mean? Like, and uh, but nobody ever gets locked up, man. So you know, well, we got we can at least hope that the next election will switch out everybody. We'll get the bad guys out. We'll drain the swamp and get some honest people in there that actually will prosecute and lock up the bankers. I hope so, man. I hope I live to see that. Man. I hope I live to see that. Marcus Conte reporting, kindly become Patreon and uh, one-time contribution to PayPal. Buy some stickers on eBay and don't forget to subscribe because, hey, listen, man, you heard Google got busted shadow banning, shadow banning. So that so it, it's long been known that uh, the channels have been shadow banned, and this is definitely one of them. This is demonetized shadow banned stuff also if you could kindly uh do me a favor right take take some of my videos and drop them into your social media accounts share them right you click the share button i think it's it's down here right you share you hit the share button and you share it on like a like you know some group that you hang out on on facebook it gets a lot of people say hey this guy check this guy out man i fucking love this guy right share it around drop it in your facebook page right sharing is important right because that's the only way you can build you know broaden your scopes and 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 hit other people with your message, right? Uh, so kindly do that, man. Do do me do me a favor, man. Right? Fucking come on. Right? Marcus Conte reporting.